What's up guys, Nerdy Noob here, and welcome back to another unboxing video. This is gonna be a long one, so if you guys don't like long videos, then click away now, because I am really, really behind in my unboxings, as many of you guys know, and I usually don't like to do this. I don't usually like to film multiple unboxings in one video, just because one, they take forever, so they take longer to edit, and then two, like, I don't know, people are like looking for things, I don't know. I have no justification, but I'm so far behind that it's time to step up our game. So, in this video, we are gonna be doing a mega unboxing, and this is gonna be five of the Geek Gear World of Wizardry box. I don't know if it's still called that, it, it just is wizardry on it, so, it, this is the wizard box from, from Geek Gear. Um, Geek Gear is one of my favorite companies. They are still around. I know you guys have seen really inconsistent unboxings on my channel. And you know what it is, I realized? When they ship these boxes to me, they come wrapped in this like gray wrapper. And what ends up happening is I just like start throwing them in a pile and then I don't really realize what it is. So I've been trying to do a better job of unwrapping these. The other thing is I don't truly know what months these are for. I do know that the last box that I unboxed was August. So I'm thinking it's going to be like September, October, November, December, January. And the one thing I can say is this green box here, not the bottom one, but the one above it, it was kind of already open, so I did glance at the little pamphlet and it said that was December. This red one right here has a Christmas sticker and I wanna say that for Geek Gear, what they usually do is send their holiday themed box in November so that you can get it in time before Christmas. So I think that these are laid out pretty pretty good. As you guys know, for the Wizarding Box, you guys can pick which house you want. I picked Mixture and I think that the color of the box represents what house I got. Now, I, I never get anything Hufflepuff. Darn, I just realized, I don't I have a Ravenclaw box probably and a couple Gryffindor and a couple Slytherin, so what can you do? Anyways, if you're interested in getting this box, I'll go to put all of the pricing details in the description below. I'm gonna put the boxes down here so I have some space. And we're just gonna go ahead and rip these things open and we're just gonna go with it, we're gonna check it out. Uh, I have not unboxed a World of Wizardry box in a really long time, so I'm pretty excited. I wanna say that at some point they started doing like wands like they were going to do wands each month. I don't know if that's the case so we'll just have to kind of crack this open and find out. Here we go. First box we're going to be unboxing is the 2019 I think September. Between these two boxes one of these is September one of them is October. I don't quite know which one's which. So let's check it out once you pull the tab. Oh that was a good one. And you open up the box and you remove the tissue paper. This is what you're going to see. How does that look? All right, setting the shirt aside. First item we have is a beanie, and this has the eagle on it, which represents Ravenclaw. That's their animal. It's not a raven, it's an eagle. Look it up if you guys don't believe me. It's a pretty straightforward standard beanie, nothing too crazy. Uh, we have this item that's wrapped and the thing, I, I haven't unboxed this box in such a long time, I forgot how much. One of the things I truly love about Geek Gear and just the company is like, I just feel like they, they do extra things to kind of make it seem a little bit more homey, especially for the Harry Potter theme box. You guys know there's not too many of them out there, so this is one of the better ones that you can get. All right, this next item we have is a replica of, is this the Nimbus? I honestly, Fireball? I, no, it's not the Fireball. Nimbus, or maybe it's just a broom. I don't know the different like ways to decipher what type of broom they are. I never got that detailed. Um, there is a little stand. I don't know exactly how the stand works. It's like that. Oh, there you go. Can you guys see it? Yeah. So we have a little broom replica that you can use kind of as just like decoration. We have our wand. I don't know what wand we got. What wand did we get? Oh, I don't know. Oh, I've never seen this wand. This is cool. Um, so here's the wand, and on the handle, it actually has what looks to be a phoenix, but I don't know if that's 100% correct. Focus, focus, focus. I've never seen this wand before. Does anyone know whose wand this is? I'm not quite sure if they're going to tell us in the booklet, but... There you go, very nice weight to the wand. That is the one thing that I like about their wands. They're not like licensed wands, but 
they're really good quality, they have really good weight to them. So some of my favorite ones that we've ever received came from this box. All right, let's see. We have our artwork. This is a, an artwork of Gellert Grindelwald. Why can't I not say that? Oh, is that his wand? Oh, no, that's the other wand. I don't know. Anyways, there's a license print right there. We have our recipe cards for wizarding fondant cookies and steak and kidney pie with buttered peas. Do you actually put kidney in this? That sounds delicious minus the kidney. Oh, lamb kidneys, oh. I probably would try to make that without the kidneys. I think I would enjoy that a little bit more. I picked right, this is for September. Let's go ahead and do our shirt and then we can do a quick pricing and recap. We got a Guild and Soft Style Men's Medium. It's a navy blue shirt and here is the design. Okay, so you have a silhouette of somebody flying on a broom through Hogwarts with the moon in the background. Okay, pricing and recap, we're gonna do this fairly quickly. Exclusive wand, again, oh, this is a phoenix, so that's cool. Oh, this was from a wand competition that they did. This is styled after design that was submitted by Julia S., so that's really, really cool. Very nice. I'm gonna go ahead and give that, I'm gonna give that, I usually give their wands $10 because I know that they probably get them I don't know how they get them, but this one, since it's exclusive and it's actually like specific to this box, I would say that you probably could give it 12 or 13. We'll do 12. We had our recipe cards. I remember in the past they haven't really been pricing those, so I'm not gonna really price those, but I did recently find my recipe book, which I thought was cool. We had our beanie. It's a pretty generic beanie because it's not a license, but you could have gotten any of the different house animals right there. Again, we got the eagle that represents Ravenclaw, I would probably give this beanie, I would say six or seven dollars is fair. Let's do, I'll do seven because the design is embroidered. We had our exclusive broomstick figure. So it's just a replica of a broomstick. Pretty cool, pretty straightforward. Uh, I would probably say that you could give this like four dollars. We had our shirt, depicts a very iconic castle in the moonlight, okay? We're gonna give that ten dollars. We had our license print from Fantastic Beasts. We're gonna give that $5. And that's all the items. So this box is worth $38. If you get the month to month, this box ends up being $34. So we got $4 extra value. So not too bad. Again, you know, subscription boxes. I don't, I'm not expecting a whole lot of extra value out of these. So I do like the items. Um, I'm not a Ravenclaw fan at all. So that's probably the one thing where I'm like, meh. But I do like the wand. I think the wand's really cool. I think it's cool that they had a design competition for it. Um, my least favorite item, honestly, is probably the broomstick figure. It's fine. I wish that it was, if they were gonna make a broomstick figure, I wish they would have made it like actually off of like a Nimbus or something, something specific, a little bit more specific, you know? But it's not terrible. It's just not, not the coolest item. Beanie and shirt are cool. Okay, next box we have is hopefully going to be the October box. It's red, so we probably got Gryffindor once you pull the tab. Oh, and you open up the box and you remove the tissue paper. This is what you're gonna see. Okay, we're gonna set the shirt to the side. We have another item that is wrapped. Ooh, that looks like the Chamber of Secrets thing. Let's see if this is some kind of dark thing. Oh, they really taped it well. Whoa. Oh, it's a basculus tooth. Is that what it is? Yes, this is cool. Okay, we got a replica basilisk tooth. Basilisk? Is that how you say it? I don't know, tooth. Um, it, what I'm gonna say is it represents the one that they had in the Chamber of Secrets where they, whoosh, the diary. This is very cool, it's very heavy. It's not plastic. So it, it feels like the same material that the wands are made out of, maybe like, I don't know, high quality resin. I'm not really quite sure. It just, it's heftier than the the uh, than the broom replica. So I am a fan of this. That is very neat. We got a nano figure, Harry Potter nano figure. These things aren't worth too much. You can get those at Target for like a dollar, I think. Next time we have is a scarf. I've received so many scarves from this box. It's not even funny. This is a scarf that represents Gryffindor. It, it looks like a soccer scarf, basically. I think that's what it's made to look like. And then you have the Gryffindor crest on it. Um, not a huge scarf, but it's cool. It's a cool little scarf. Not too bad. This was for October. Ooh, the scarf smells weird. We have our recipe cards. We have spider roast, which looks like pot, pot roast. And then we have berry mascarpone pies right here. 
There's that. Add those to our collection of recipes. And then our print, our licensed print, is actually framed. And this is the wanted poster for Bellatrix Lestrange from Askban. So that's a cool little print, actually. It's always nice when they give us the prints in frames. Okay, last item we have is our shirt. It is a Gildan soft style men's medium. It's black. I just see a lot of yellow on the shirt. How does it look? Ooh, I think this shirt is supposed to represent, I think the Phoenix is what it looks like. Although, is the fire yellow or is it? Maybe it's all different colors, I don't know. Okay, quick pricing and recap. Oh, let's do the recap card. Oh, I'm sorry, there was spotlight things. I didn't see that. Who's the spotlight on this one? Spotlight theme for the next month box, which we just opened, so. The YouTuber spotlight is Alicia, Alicia Always. And then in this one, it was Planning with Crystal. So congratulations for making it on there. We have our holiday theme, which is the uh, hint for the next box. So again, we're not gonna price the recipe cards. The nano figures get $1, because they sell them at Target for $1. I feel bad because I see that they have pricing on here. They put $4.99, but I have legitimately seen these figures at Target for $1. The house scarf, it's pretty cool. I think you could give this anywhere from $8 to $10. It's not licensed, so I'm gonna stick on the lower end of that and say $8. Our shirt is of uh, the Phoenix, of course, and we're gonna give that $10. We had our Basilisk Fang, I don't know, I said tooth. Um, it's made out of resin, which is very cool. I actually really like this item. Unique, we've never gotten anything like this. I would probably say you could give that $5. I like that one a lot. And then we have our wanted poster of Bellatrix of Strange. The print itself is usually around $5, and with the frame, I'd probably say this is around a $7 thing. Okay, so this box is worth $31. We did not hit our $34 price point. I'm not super surprised by that. This box, I, I did price things a little bit lower, but the price did seem to be lacking a little bit. So technically for value wise, the first box was better. Although I think I probably preferred the second box a little bit better to the first one. They're gonna start meshing in my head, I'm not gonna know. Okay, next we have what I think is our 2018 November box for the holiday theme box. Once you pull the tab, okay. I ripped everything. My bad, my bad. And you open up the box and you remove the tissue paper. This is what you're gonna see. All right, let's check it out. Oh, I don't know what the shirt is, but I already like the, the way the design looks. This is gonna be a Gryffindor theme box, most likely. All right, here we go. First item we have is a house coin. It's a Geek Gear product. They boxed it and everything. Um, we got a Gryffindor. I just got a bunch of smudge on it, but a Gryffindor themed coin. Um, we've received a lot of different types of coins in, in all of our boxes. This isn't the best coin that we've ever received. It's cool, but you can just kind of tell by the, the weight and the material. It's not like the greatest um, coin that we've ever gotten. Next we have whatever's in this item. It's a magical creature egg, it says. Let's go ahead and open up the box and see what's inside. So this is kind of like their figure this month, I think. And this is from, this is from Fantastic Beasts, and I wouldn't be able to tell you off the top of my head what figure that is because I have no idea. I, f I don't know. I don't know, but it's a little egg figure. Yeah, it's cool. It doesn't get me overly excited, but it's cool. I probably would help if I actually, like, really went back and watched Fantastic Beasts and saw Crimes of Grindelwald. I just have no interest. It's terrible. Next, we have a pin, and it says Potion Master on it. So here's the box it came in, and let's go ahead. It's a very nice pin. That is one of the things I really enjoy from Geek Gear is when they make pins. They're really nice. It says Potion Master. It's a two-backing pin. It has black on the back. The next item we have is, is this a little stocking? I think it's a little stocking, a little Gryffindor stocking. Yes. So we have a little Gryffindor so stocking. I would have loved to get this box as the Hufflepuff one. I think I would have enjoyed it. It's pretty straightforward. There is um, there is a little hook, which is nice. And it's made out of some pretty thin felt, but it's still a cool little item. We have a license exclusive. It says, I'd rather be at Hogwarts, and this is a license keychain. And it, it's made out of kind of like that rubbery, the rubbery material. Uh, next we have are these Christmas cards. Usually they do give us some Christmas cards. It looks like these are made out of are made in regards to the, oops, I don't know how to open this package. We got some really cool Christmas cards from the from the Geek Gear boxes. So, so this is a set of two Christmas cards and it looks like they had an artist do these. I don't know, I can't read her name. I like the picket one. This one's Santa Claus flying away from Hogwarts. I'm assuming they're blank inside, yeah. The blank inside, 
There's a little bit of a design on, on this one side, but you can basically write it. It came with some two pretty nice envelopes as well. Very cool. This was the November box. Our recipes are gingerbread wizards. Oh, there's, oh, that's a thick recipe. And then we have creatures French onion soup. That is totally something I would make. I love French onion soup. Like I absolutely love French onion soup. Our licensed print is a Gryffindor print. I love the, I don't know what you call it, but the way that they made this, it's like made up of the different like shapes, like polygon shape things. And then the last time we have is our shirt. We got a Gildan soft style men's medium and it's kind of a, a gray shirt, a darker gray shirt, not charcoal I wouldn't say, but almost. I enjoy the color and I enjoy the design. It kind of looks like a yarn, like an ugly sweater yarn design if you look closely, the way that they show you the, the different like lines, like a stitching kind of. And this represents Gryffindor. I like that a lot. It's actually probably my favorite item in the box. Let's go and do a quick price and a recap. YouTuber Spotlight is Muggle Magic. You can definitely check them out if you'd like. And let's do this. Okay, for the coin, there was a limited drop. It looks like gold coins were more special. We got a silver coin. I would say that you could probably give this coin, honestly, I would probably just give that $5. It's not the greatest coin in the world, but it's okay. We had our exclusive greeting cards, and these were made by artist Kevin Cantwell. Um, pretty cool. I would say you probably could give these at least each $2, $2 each, if not more. I wouldn't mind giving $5 for this set of two. We had our exclusive Harry Potter keychain. I'm going to go ahead and give that $4. Recipes don't get anything. Our Gryffindor print gets $5. The Hufflepuff one was really cool. Our little stocking. It's a cool little stocking. I think you could probably give that like $5. We had our exclusive magical creature egg. It's cool. It's cool. Uh, I would probably, honestly, I probably would just give that like $4. I'll give it $5 because it came in a nice box. We had our Gryffindor shirt. The, the Hufflepuff one was really cool. I'm going to give that $10. And then we had our pin, which I will give $5. So according to my price, this box is worth $44. Cost $34. We got $10 worth of extra value. This box definitely had way more items than all of the other boxes. And I could feel that like as I was unboxing and doing the pricing where I was like, wow, there's a lot of items in this box. So... I'm happy with the number of items. I'm happy with the value. I'm happy with the items. Honestly, again, I think the shirt is probably my favorite item in this box. And then I really do like the print and the, probably the print and the shirt are my favorite, my favorite things, I would say. So that's not a bad box. I'd say that's probably my favorite box. That would have been cool if it came with a wand. That would be even cooler. All right, this is gonna be our 2018 December box. This is the one that was kind of already open, so. I was able to kind of take a little peek inside. This is gonna probably be a Slytherin theme box based off of the color. So let's see what we got. I'm gonna go ahead and set the shirt aside. It looks like a glow shirt. I'm not sure though. Okay, first item we have is this. And there's, oh, this, they gave us a little, um, this is cool. Oh, wait a second. What is this? Let me pull this out. This changes the game. It came with a little tag and it says Noble Wands. Now this is, so there's, this is actually like, let me show you this to you. There's actually a trademark on the bottom of this that says Noble Wands. Now it's not Noble Collection, so I don't wanna get that confused. But the cool thing about it is it actually gave you a breakdown of the type of wand it is. So let's go ahead and open this up and see what we think. Well, this is a very heavy duty wand. Okay, so here's the wand. There's this like big blue gem thing in the handle. It's very, it's actually very long and very heavy. Now this says this is a Carolium wand. Don't know what that means. Uh, its length is 13 and a half inches. Its core is unicorn hair and its wood type is English oak. And then there's a, there's an asterisk after wood type and it says, please note all wands are only styled on real wood and remade of resin material. So this is not a wood wand, just in case you're wondering. It's a cool wand. I don't know exactly what it's based off of, but I do like that they gave us a little tag to give us more information, which is new that they've never done that before. The next item we have is in this box. It says bus ticket. Is this going to be a replica of a bus? I don't know. Oh, it's Ernie. It's Ernie's floating head. I have the pen that I got from one of my Harry Potter boxes. This is a little bit creepy. I'm gonna put this back in here. I'm not a huge fan of that item. We have a Niffler keychain. I like that. I like Nifflers. This is a licensed Fantastic Beast keychain. 
Geek Air exclusive, it says. We got a card from Geek Air that says Happy New Year. A massive thank you for subscribing to our boxes throughout 2018. We wouldn't be where we are today without our customers' continued support. Wishing all of you a fun-filled, geeky, and simply magical new year from all of us here at Geek Gear. So Leslie and the crew at Geek Gear, that was very thoughtful. What is this? Subscribe now. So Noble Wands is, I think that's the new box that they're trying to do. I'm not 100% sure, but it is a subscription. You can use this code if you want to get, was it, 10% off? And it just says, Noble Ones is a brand new premium subscription, which, okay, so Noble Ones is like theirs? Actually, I don't know. Um, which brings you an exclusive one every month. We promise that each of these ones will never have been seen anywhere else. We encourage all of our customers to send any designs. Okay, so it's basically like a wand subscription, but people can submit designs and you could potentially get your wand design uh, as like an actual wand. So they're not gonna be making wands off of characters anymore. They're gonna be like designed wands. Custard creams as one of our recipes. And then we have butterscotch cupcakes. We have whatever poster is in this tube. Let's check this out. Okay, so this is, oh, this is a cool one. This is from the same artist that made the Christmas cards. Kent, I forgot his name already actually, Kevin Kentrell. Uh, this is a poster made after Fantastic Beasts. It has all of the beasts coming out of Newt's suitcase. I actually really like this. I like the artwork. I think the artwork's really cool. I like how it looks a little bit sketched. It's neat. And then our licensed print is Eternal Glory Together. This is the, from the Tri Wizard Tournament, and this is when Cedric and Harry are like, let's do it together. All right, last time we have is our shirt. We have a Guild and Softstyle men's medium. It's black. The, the um, ink on it is sparkly and kind of green. It kind of looks like it's glow in the dark, but I I feel like if it was glow in the dark, they would have actually said something. So maybe not. So this is a shirt. It has an emblem. It has all of each of the house animals. It has a stag in the middle. It, I think it's just like randomly things that represent Harry Potter, I would say. Not too bad though. I like that it's not super in your face, which is nice. All right, let's go and do some pricing and recap. Again, for the December box, Napier Photography in 3D is the YouTuber spotlight. And let's go ahead and check out how much this box is worth. So first item we have is our shirt. Printed. I don't believe that that is a glow in the dark shirt. It just looks kind of glow in the dark, but we're gonna go ahead and give that $10. We had our Noble Wand. Again, it's an exclusive design. The handle's a little bit choppy. Really cool, I like, I like where they're going with these. I think because they're exclusive to this box now, I would say that this is, again, around the 12 to 13 to $15 price point. I wouldn't go any higher than that. Like you can get a Noble Wand at Barnes & Noble for like 20 bucks. So I feel like 13 is fair. Now I will be honest and say that in their price point they put $20, so I am a little bit off on that, but it just depends on what you wanna do. Uh, we had our, well it said we have our Love Potion Print. We have brought you two prints, oh, okay. So first of all, the recipes are the last in the series. That's what this little piece here says. These are the two different prints that we could get. We got the, the black and blue one, but this one's pretty cool as well. I think they both represent the same thing. I can't tell what my camera's focusing on. I like the other one better because it's more like Hogwarts theme. This one's very much like Harry and Cedric kind of meshed together. Anyways, I'm gonna give that five dollars. We had the shrunken head, which is Ernie, and that's creepy, and I would say that that's five dollars. That's creeping me out. We had our Nifra keychain. It's made out of the rubbery material. I'm gonna go ahead and give that four dollars. And then we had our, oh, our poster. Cool poster, and it actually is, I didn't mention this, sorry. This is actually signed. It's not numbered, but it's signed, and it's pretty oversized. So, and this is from Kevin Cantwell. So I'm gonna go ahead and say that we can give that $10 because of the size and because of the autograph. So according to my price in this box, with $47, we got $13 worth of extra value. So the, the value is slowly increasing each box, which is very nice. Well, actually there's the one where it went down, but then, and then it came back up, so it's still good though. All right, last box, last box. God, this is gonna be such a long video, I apologize. All right, here we go. We are gonna be officially caught up once we open this. This box is for our 2019 January box again. We got green, which is probably Slytherin. Once you pull the tab and you open up the box and you, there's a letter here. Open this without ripping it. Oh, I ripped it, okay. 
Here it goes. This is a note from Geek Gear. It says, our boxes are changing for the better. We apologize if people felt like we have lacked in our personalized and handcraft charm the way we started back in 2016. Oh, that's weird. I didn't feel that way, but I guess people have felt the way. From our February box onwards, we are changing our boxes, our packing, and our content. Oh. Expect only the highest quality products with unique and cute packaging. Expect handcrafted original artworks and so much more. Thank you for being a loyal subscriber from your geek gear team. Okay, so apparently, now this is the one thing because there's not that many Harry Potter boxes out there, but one of the, the coolest things about this box is one, it's a Harry Potter themed box, and two, they do put a lot of personal touches. It almost seems like kind of an Etsy type box where you get these things that are like, they're just a lot of personal touches. And for this specific box, the, the Harry Potter themed box from Geek Gear, I actually like that from them because we can get the the Loot Crate themed box from, from Loot Crate, the Harry Potter one or whatever, with licensed items, but it's never like exciting. It just always seems kind of lame. And this box has always just seemed really nice. It seemed very personal. I actually didn't feel, and I just opened like five of their boxes or four of their boxes. I didn't feel like it seemed unpersonal, but I could, I guess, kind of see where people are coming from with that. Let's go ahead and remove this tissue paper and see what this box looks like. Now, their note that they gave us is, is said starting February. So this box technically should be very similar to all of the other boxes that we've been receiving. But let's go ahead and check it out. First item we have is in this box, it's very heavy. Is it, oh, it's a necklace, a metal necklace. Oh, it's a necklace. I can't open it. How do I open this? I think it's a chocolate frog. Okay, so this is a giant necklace. This is like giant. <laughs> this is so funny. And it's based off of chocolate frog, chocolate frog candy. You have your necklace material here. It's like a giant metal. Like you could honestly use this as like a metal. Like you win. Technically, I think you would win third place. This looks kind of bronzy, but okay. So there's that. Cool. We have a snowy owl box. And in this box, we have a little snowy owl. It's very kind of lifelike. I guess I could take it out of the packaging. So it's like a figure, but it has like fur on it. That's different. We've never received anything like that before. It's a little bit creepy, not gonna lie, like a little bit, just a little bit though. We have some Love Potion tea. This is decaf mixed red berry infusion. I love trying out new teas. I just bought a bunch of teas from Hawaii. So I need to get myself one of those tea ball things though because I don't have anything to do loose leaf teas. So I'll have to get that, but that's cool. Again, this is from January, 2019. Uh, we have a pin. It's an owl with Santa hat. This seems a little bit late in the game. I feel like they could have given that to us in the November box or the December box. I think the January box is a tad bit late for that, but it's a cool pin. It's a fun little pin. Next, we got a cushion cover. Oh, and this is the same design that was on the shirt last month, which is cool. I'm in the process of actually trying to find a good place to buy these like cheap throw pillows so I can use all these cushion covers because I do receive a lot of cushion covers through all of my boxes. We have our print, which says it's the three brothers. This is the Deathly Hollows tail right there. Power, longing, humility. So there's that. And then the last item we have is our shirt. So the wand thing, you must have to get the separate wand subscription. I don't know if they're gonna be doing wands in their boxes anymore. This is a Gildan Soft Style Men's Medium. It's a white shirt, which is always interesting for me just because I'm not good with white shirts. And it's very simple. It's like a, it's kind of like a, not cartoony, but a little bit like an animated drawing of Hogwarts. You can see the Quidditch pitch there, the Hogwarts tower. Very cool, I actually like this. The gold's a little bit hard to see in the uh, in the shirt design because the shirt's white and the, the uh, ink is gold, but yeah, not too bad. All right, well, let's go ahead and do some pricing and recap. YouTube Spotlight is Ben Hips. I don't know how to say it. It's probably HPTS. And then, oh, here's the theme. Merman or something. This is the theme for next month's box, so the February box. All right, let's do this. First time we have is our shirt. I'm gonna go ahead and give that $10. I actually was really happy with the shirts that they kind of had throughout these boxes. I did like them a lot. We had our festive owl pin. Again, kind of a little bit weird timing with that, but I'll give that $5. We had our cushion cover. I think I used to give them five. Sometimes I give them six. I think that you could probably give that six or seven. Let's go ahead and do seven. 10 seems kind of high. 
We had our license print. We're gonna give that $5. We had our tea. Um, I give that $2. We had our wizardry necklace. It's the uh, chocolate frog. Well, it actually says, yeah, chocolate frog necklace. It's a pretty heavy duty necklace. I probably would give that maybe like six or $7. Let's give that six. And then we had our kind of creepy looking owl thing. Uh, the owl, I probably you could give that, I'll be nice and give it five because I think I might have undervalued some of the other things. Okay, $40, $6 extra value. That box wasn't my favorite. I think I liked the one before it. I think that one I appreciated a little bit more. I don't really remember anymore. All in all, I didn't even rate any of these boxes. I'm sorry. I totally forgot. But all in all, I'm happy with all the items that we got. Again, I've always liked that Geek Gear, you know, they started making their own items, and but they always package everything pretty nicely. Um, kind of reminds me of like Geek Feel a little bit, which I don't even know what happened to that company. But yeah, I, th I like it. I like their shirts. I think they really killed it in the shirt game, actually. I'm really happy with uh, all of the shirts we got, except for the, the first one was probably, do we not get a shirt in one of the boxes? Potentially, I don't know. I'm not quite sure, one, two, Three, four, maybe. I didn't like the blue shirt, the first shirt we got, but other than that, I liked all the other shirts. I liked when we got wands. I I like the idea of getting custom wands, but I also love getting like the character themed wands. So it just depends on what your preference is. But all in all, pretty good unboxing. Sorry I didn't um, rate all the boxes, but you know, I talked about them enough, so I'm sure it's fine. All right guys, I'm gonna end this video because it's like 40 minutes long, which is terrible. That's gonna take forever to edit. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, feel free to click the like button below. If you wanna see more boxing videos, go ahead and check out my channel. I have a whole bunch on there and you should subscribe. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys thought about these boxes. Like I said, there's not that many Harry Potter themed boxes out there, so this and the Lucret one are basically the two that are out there. And I appreciate this one a lot, I really do. It's, it's a lot different than the Lucret one, but a lot of Harry Potter fans seem to like the kind of Etsy type products that they give. So I think that's really cool. Um, but let me know what all of your thoughts are down below. Don't forget, if you subscribe to my channel and your subscriptions aren't blocked or set to private, you will make it onto my thank you to subscribers page, which is coming up shortly, but it might be an old one because I'm still working on getting the new ones. Sorry, I will get that taken care of. Before we go, we must do the video shout out. Banana Brie. Banana Brie, you're getting the video shout out. Thank you so much for watching and commenting and supporting my channel. I appreciate all of your support. Thank you for giving everyone a heads up. It sounds like the uh, Disney Treasure Dumbo box is on sale right now on Hot Topics website for $26. So you guys can check that out through Monday it says. So thank you for the information, Banana Brie. Thank you for all of your support. I want to give you the video shout out. So shout out to you, Banana Brie. Shout out to you. All right, guys, I hope you have an amazing day and I will see you guys next time. Bye.